The Governess by Neil Simon Julia? Julia? Yes, madam? Look at me, child. Pick your head up. I like to see your eyes when I speak to you. Yes, madam. And how are the children coming along with their French lessons? They're very bright children, madam. Eyes up. They're bright, you say. Well, why not? And mathematics? They're doing well in mathematics, I assume? Yes, madam. Especially Vanya. Certainly, I knew it. I excelled in mathematics. He gets that from his mother, wouldn't you say? Yes, madam. Head up. That's it. Don't be afraid to look people in the eyes, my dear. If you think of yourself as inferior, that's exactly how people will treat you. Yes, ma'am. A quiet girl, aren't you? Now then, let's settle our accounts. I imagine you must need money, although you never ask me for it yourself. Let's see now. We agreed on 30 rubles a month, did we not? 40, ma'am. No, no, 30. I made a note of it. I always pay my governesses 30. Who told you 40? You did, ma'am. I spoke to no one else concerning money. Impossible. Maybe you thought you heard 40 when I said 30. If you kept your head up, that would never happen. Look at me again and I'll say it clearly. 30 rubles a month. If you say so, ma'am. Settled. 30 a month it is. Now then, you've been here two months exactly. Two months and five days. No, no, exactly two months. I made a note of it. You should keep books the way I do, so there wouldn't be these discrepancies. So we have two months at 30 rubles a month comes to 60 rubles, correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Subtract nine Sundays. We did agree to subtract Sundays, didn't we? No, ma'am. Eyes, eyes? Certainly we did. I've always subtracted Sundays. I didn't bother making a note of it because I always do it. Don't you recall when I said we will subtract Sundays? No, ma'am. Think. No, ma'am. You weren't thinking. Your eyes were wandering. Look straight at my face and look hard. Do you remember now? Yes, ma'am. I didn't hear you, Julia. Yes, ma'am. Good. I was sure you'd remember. Plus three holidays, correct? Two, ma'am. Christmas and New Year's. And your birthday, that's three. I worked on my birthday, ma'am. You did? There was no need to. My governesses never worked on their birthdays. But I did work, ma'am. But that's not the question, Julia. We're discussing financial matters now. I will, however, only count two holidays if you insist. Do you insist? I did work, ma'am. Then you do insist. No, ma'am. Very well. That's three holidays. Therefore, we take off twelve rubles. Now then, four days little Kolya was sick and there were no lessons. But I gave lessons to Vanya. True, but I engaged you to teach two children, not one. Shall I pay you in full for doing only half the work? No, ma'am. So we'll deduct it. Now, three days you had a toothache and my husband gave you permission not to work after lunch, correct? After four. I worked until four. I have here did not work after lunch. We have lunch at one and are finished at two, not at four, correct? But, ma'am... That's another seven rubles. That leaves forty-one rubles, correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. On January 4th, you broke a teacup and a saucer, right? Just the saucer, ma'am. 
What good is a teacup without a saucer, eh? That's two rubles. All right, ma'am. Now then, January 9th. Kolya climbed a tree and tore his jacket. I forbid him to do so, ma'am. But he didn't listen, did he? Ten rubles. January 14th, Vanya's shoes were stolen. But the maid, ma'am, you discharged her yourself. But you are paid good money to watch everything. I explained that in our first meeting. Yes, ma'am. Good. So, another five rubles off? Ah, yes. The 16th of January. I gave you ten rubles. You didn't. That's not a satisfactory answer. Why will I make a note of that if I did not give it to you? So, on subtracting, it is fourteen, correct? Yes, ma'am. If you say so. What's this? Tears? Has something made you unhappy? Julia, please tell me. It pains me to see you like this. I'm so sensitive to tears. Only once since I've been here have I ever been given any money, and that was by your husband. On my birthday, he gave me three rubles. Really? There's no note of it in my notebook. I'll put it down now. Do you wish to check my figures? There's no need, ma'am. Then we're all settled. Here's your salary for two months, dear. Eleven rubles. Count it. It is not necessary, ma'am. Come, come. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only ten, ma'am. Are you sure? You must have dropped one. Look on the floor. It's all right, ma'am. Ten rubles will be fine. Thank you, ma'am. Julia! Come back here. Why did you thank me? For the money, ma'am. For the money? But don't you realize what I've done? I've cheated you. Robbed you. I've no such notes in my book. I made up everything. Instead of eighty, I gave you only ten. And you thank me? Why? That's how it is, ma'am. Everywhere that I've worked. All cheated you, Julia. I was playing a joke on you. A cruel lesson to teach you. You are too trusting. Here, take your entire eighty rubles. As you wish, ma'am. Is it possible to be so innocent? Why don't you protest? Is it really possible to be a simpleton? Yes, ma'am.